Hey guys, Matt Tech here. Welcome back to another video. Today we're back on NBA 2K12 Part 4. Sorry again for the long wait on this video, but you know, your boy's been busy and I've actually been posting pretty consistently. Uh, we, we just need to get around to this. I got some great comments from you guys telling me like what exactly I need to do uh, for my drills and my skill points. So I really do appreciate it. And I know I only did like shooting drills the reason why is because i needed to get my shot down i didn't feel fully comfortable because switching from nba 2k 11 to 12 obviously stuff is different and i was like you know what let's just get the shot down let's see if i can feel it out and get the rhythm down and i pretty much have a good rhythm with my shot now it's just getting my player up to where he needs to be so right now our team is one one we lost the rockets and then we beat the grizzlies we're going up against the rockets again today so hopefully we can get our you know revenge i feel like our consistency has got to go up eventually right um so we're gonna do at least two consistent you see here and then maybe get our offense awareness to about an 80 and we're gonna leave it there and now we are 62 overall sick so again we're gonna play two games today and also there is some new stuff that i've been kind of playing around with there's this thing called player buzz which you know our teammate grade and our league-wide popularity and our local fan support i can see where it's actually at so that's kind of cool and today we're playing the rockets and it looks like it's a game against miami i completely forgot we're playing miami today you know we are, we've already lost to this rockets team let's see what, what we can do last game actually before we go i had a really good stat line in my opinion for just being a bench player you guys looked here i had 15 points two assists and pretty much nothing else six for 12 i was three for three though from three but without further ado let's go in and you know let's try to win this game the rockets look to take charge in front of their houston home crowd and we're going to bring it to you live here on 2k sports and they really took it to them that's a flat out blowout right there there's no other word to use now, not many wasted trips down the floor that was a very efficient game for them offensively and Steve, they really fed off of each other, too. I mean, good passing, good shooting. I think both became contagious. And checking out Utah's opening lineup, courtesy of State Farm. Kirilenko, Millsap, and Jefferson are the front court. Bell is out there with Devin Harris. And for the Rockets, Lowry and Martin manning the backcourt. Chase Budinger and Luis Scola are the forwards. So I'm going to be using the big men today. You know, Al Jefferson, Paul Millsap. I'm really just going to try to be passing around because this Rockets team last time was a pain. Okay, that's a good start. We're up 11 to 4. Sick. And also playing a little tired defense. Only taking shots when I have to because, again, I can't shoot around like I did in NBA 2K11 because my player is just not that good. A foul there, a shooting foul, and that looks like it's on Millsap. And Scola made the first one, and he'll make the second. Funny game inside. Little scoop shots. You have got to be kidding me, dude. Are you serious? Okay, so first turnover is not even my fault. Bell gets that. Slams it in. That's a weird animation. If you guys saw that, I went to pass to Jefferson, who was standing, and he went into an animation and went all the way left to where the other guy was standing. Like, that makes no sense, man. That's not even my fault. All right, let's reset here. I just need to be chill today. Just need to be chill, and that is on us. All right. Also, this is a key game, so it is times to the skill points, I believe. Okay, they're just leaving me open. I'm going to shoot. Let's go, baby. Whenever I'm open, I, I just have to shoot. But if I'm guarded, I got to, you know, try to pass off to a guy. Oh, what a fight in there. See, that's why Kirilenko could be an underrated small forward. He's going to be better than Reggie, obviously, but he's got the size to him. He's got that wingspan to get in. And he's a little quick, too, so he's going to be able to get in there and they slam it down, get some good layups. All right, 17 to 8, got two points. I had that one really bad turnover that was not even my fault, but it's okay. We're going to move on. Oh, what a block there by Kirilenko. Oh, can I beat him out? Yeah, that's right. Mine. That's right. Okay, could have had some points there, but a foul on them gets us a little closer. It's time to stop. Here you go, Jefferson. Put it up. Slam it in there for the assist. Good job. Tough time in that mid-range area. I was open. Just had to take the shot there. I'll take it, though. There's Kirilenko. Let's see if we can get the ball to Kirilenko. There we go. No, Kirilenko. Oh, that's a horrible turnover by him. No, get out of here. Oh, and he freaking chucks a three up. Freaking Johnny Flynn. Oh, is he really? Is he really going to? Okay. 
Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for the points. All right, 21 to 11. A good freaking lead so far. Four points and assists. 67 from the field. Flynn just played off of me there. And we are getting substituted. And it's... Are you freaking kidding me? I got taken out the entire second. And we're down by 12 now. What the heck happened, dude? I swear. 2K Sim is horrible, man. They freaking screw you over so hard in this game. And welcome, everyone, to this early season edition of HP at the Half. They've yet to lose so far this season and are looking fantastic in this one too some outstanding minutes from their bench unit delivering instant offense and for the jazz it's been all hustle physicality taking over the game they are muscling their way around the paint an unbelievable half from al jefferson he's got 17 points been outstanding on the defensive side of the court as well gotten the job done on the glass too it hasn't been exactly a back and forth battle but these two trading their fair share of buckets and now we're looking on other games from the nba as we go around the league with that game in the books they split their last two outings their leading scorer darren williams and one of the other games that went final today orlando with a loss to the wizards over at verizon center six point difference in that one dwight howard was their top scorer and a look now at the rest of the action from around the nba the oklahoma city thunder are trailing the mavericks out in dallas I think we might be looking at a little garbage time before this one's over. And that'll wrap it up here. Now, back to Kevin Harlan and the crew for the second half. Dude, it was only 29-20 to 20 in the third with the Celtics Pacers. Golly, that's a low score. They must be chucking the ball over. They must be, like, just trying to lob it. And Okay, yeah, this game's over. 67-51. Dude, we were up. Like, the 2K Sim, man... It's been the same thing. Reduce the gap. Bring your team within 10 points. Uh, I'll try. Like, we were up. I'm doing fantastic. They couldn't shoot. Couldn't do anything. And we hit a three. At least we're doing good. Up to seven points now. All right, let's see what we can do. We might even get some garbage time minutes if we just really suck. Oh, they're just leaving Martin open. Like, you can't leave him open, dude. I wish I could be the freaking field general so I could put it on man-to-man -man, because, like, that was horrible defense. Oh, here's Harris trying to be the one-man show, and he runs out of bounds. Freaking idiot. I cannot wait to replace Devin Harris, dude, because, golly, he's he just needs to be a backup at this point. Oh, I'm open. Harris. Okay, Harris is trash. Harris is actually freaking trash. Dude, like, I was wide open. He tries to go in with three men on him, loses the ball, so then our guy has to go and try to get it back, and he can't get it back. Like, freaking horrible, dude. But then if I call for the ball, I'm scared to call for the ball because every time I call for it, it's like, bad call, bad call. Harris put it up, and he misses. Golly, man, just make it in. Just slam it down. You are bigger. Man, Harris loses it again. Oh my gosh, dude. Yeah, he has four turnovers right now. He is freaking garbage. Replace him already. What kind of pass was that, dude? Can't do anything. Golly, dude. It, it all starts with Harris, dude. That was a horrible pass by Kirilenko, but what? Like, he cannot lead an offense. That's a perfect release, and we will take that. All right, you know what? Nine points and an assist. I'll take it. Not too shabby. Not going to be taken out here. Honestly, we're down by so many points. They might as well just freaking play me. Just see what I have to give this team, man, because, like, Devin Harris cannot lead this offense whatsoever. He's, like, running out of bounds. He's turned over the ball four times. He's, like, rushing in on three or four people guarding him. Like, he's horrible at fast breaks. He, he just can't lead this team. So give me an opportunity to freaking do what I can do. And let's see what happens. There you go, favors. Fight in there. There you go, dude. Freaking bully him. There you go. Nice job. Nice job. There we go, Millsap. Put it up. And he waited too freaking long. Gosh dang it. The reason I didn't shoot that is because Millsap literally called for the ball. He put his hand up. I was like, all right, cool. And pass it off to him. He just took way too long. It's been a blowout so far. Uh, honestly, they might just leave me in just to, for garbage time at this point. As the fourth quarter gets going, let's swing it over to Doris Burke, who has our Sprite Spark report. Doris. Hi, Kevin. The spark in this game, the big push by the Rockets. They've picked this defense apart, and each trip down the floor, they've managed to extend the lead. They've exerted control in every facet of this game. Yeah, they're literally just going to take all their starters out because this game's pretty much over. This is our chance to show what we've got, basically. There you go, Jefferson, slam it. There's the assist. Let's go. A little bit sketch because he got into the inside a little too much there, but it ended up working out. Here's the beat. 
Okay, Hashim to Meat can't do that. The only thing he can do is freaking grill burgers. I think I saw him the other day in my local Wendy's. And that's another assist? No, dude, I literally passed him the ball and he immediately shot it. How is that not an assist? Bell, shoot that. Shoot it, Bell. Let's go. That's another assist. No, get the ball. Oh my gosh, I hate you. I didn't even hold on for too long and he just gets poked away, man. Freaking screw that. Okay, Flynn is Steph Curry. Okay, Flynn is just Steph Curry now. I'm sorry. Maybe the Timberwolves just didn't make a mistake. I'm just going to shoot that. I'm literally wide open. Bell, are you... That's my fault! What? Now get out of here! It literally hit off Bell! Like, what? Like, it hit off of Bell. Bell's hand. And it wasn't even my fault. And they're like, no, it's your fault. Like, what? And he makes that? Oh my gosh. Okay. Maybe Courtney, maybe Courtney Lee and Johnny Flynn are like Clay Thompson and Steph Curry, apparently. Apparently, they just make everything. I can't wait for my character to be good, dude. I just can't fucking wait so I can fucking put up 40 on these guys. Make that one in there. 13 points. Let's go. All right. 2K Sim absolutely screwed us, dude. Like, absolutely screwed us. I uh, had a good game, pretty much. 13 points, three assists. Um, the three turnovers were freaking horse crap, bull crap on, on steroids. Didn't have, like, the all-time greatest game to be honest um but you know it is what it is again another six for 12 i was one for three from three three turnovers all three of them were fucking bullcrap that last one on bell was probably the most egregious one i literally threw it it, it, it honestly it could have hit bell in the freaking face and they would have still blamed me i don't know how that was my fault when i threw the ball at his hands it hit his hands he didn't grab it and the other team, and Kyle Lowry grabbed it, and then they're like, no, 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 that's your fault. But yeah, look at that, 21 to 18, and then they scored 35 in the second. That's ridiculous, dude. Freaking 2K Sim at its finest. Not a good game from your team tonight. Is there anything positive you can take from a game with a final score as lopsided as this one? Um, I think we were able to, you know, get the ball to Al Jefferson. He had a great game. Um, I didn't do too bad off the bench. I was the second highest in scoring. Um, but we can't win games whenever. Devin Harris, who is sitting to my right, is literally driving in the freaking paint with three men on him doing a freaking alley oops and trying to slam the ball down and lay it up and freaking do all this 360 bull crap. It's not going to work. He can't lead a offense. And when my players upgrade and I replace this bum, we're going to be fine. But until then, I just, I just have to do what I got to do. A takeaways from the game, like we had a great first. You could say that. It's the 2K sim absolutely fucking screwed us today. Um, I, I don't, none of these answers are really good. Uh, probably coach can figure it out. No, that's probably not the best thing to say. I thought that even when we were down by a lot, every player out there on the court was still giving everything they had. Some games, the ball just doesn't bounce your way, but that's never an excuse to mail it in. And I really don't think we did that at all tonight, which is definitely something to be proud of. If we keep giving that kind of effort, we'll win our share of games. Tonight just wasn't one of them. How does my luck, dude? Okay. So I tell my guys, just we, like we were all ahead in the game. Everyone did good. And my local fan sport and league-wide popularity goes down. What the heck ever, 2K12. Whatever. All right. So we lost by a freaking landslide. Now we're going to have to go play Miami. So this is great. I think I'm just going to upgrade my shot, honestly. Like, I think that's probably the best thing I can do in order to become a better shooter. Maybe, like, do two of these. Yeah, we're going to have to slowly make our way to being a medium-range guy, kind of like DeMar DeRozan is. I think we're going to just invest our two points there and just get better at offense. We have to get better. All right, but we're going to go up against Miami, and they're going to be an absolute pain in the butt. I do not expect to win this game. We need to win that Houston game, and we just got blown out by 2K Sims. So, we're going to try this game. So... That's very to do. Let's just go into it. And there, a bit earlier, the Heat getting mentally and physically ready. A great Tuesday night matchup coming right up here on 2K Sports. We're here at Dorisburg, Steve Kerr and Clark Kellogg. And I'm Kevin Hart. Thanks for joining us tonight. For the Utah Jazz, they come into tonight after the loss to the Rockets in Houston. And that was a real body blow for them. They got taken apart both offensively and defensively. 
I'm guessing they got quite a post-game speech from their coach because that was a really poor performance. I would say it might be a little more than a post-game speech. Uh, he may have done more than just talk after that one. And checking out Utah's opening lineup, Kirilenko, Millsap, and Jefferson are the front court. Bell is out there with Devin Harris. And for the Heat, Chris Bosh and Udonis Haslam down low. Chalmers in way to the one and the two. And it's LeBron and it's the small forward. A major front court overhaul for Utah last season with Carlos Boozer leaving for Chicago as a free agent. O'Kerr was injured most of the year. So it was up to Al Jefferson and Paul Millsap to really come through on the front line. Well, the foul trouble was such a, a big factor in that game. And All right, here we go. This is about to be a slaughter, I feel like. Oh, we're up. You know, 2K Sim actually was nice, but I have a feeling it won't be nice for long. Now, let's see what we're able to do now. today. Now, Heath Miller's a little taller, a little better than Johnny Flynn, of course. Babers slams it. Good ball movement. Not an assist, though. And Harris turns the ball over again, dude. He had four turnovers last game. He was dog crap last time. Strategy for Tate, uh, don't look pathetic like we did last time, pretty much. We're going to, but at least we can... Myself, we can at least look good, and Bell makes it in. And Miller just makes it in. They're going to make my fucking life so miserable today, dude. They're going to make it so fucking miserable. Okay, I don't know how to shoot free throws, so I'm hoping I do good. Slightly, wow, that's so long. Oh, okay, okay, I got it now, okay. Dude, Heath Miller will not get off me, dude. What the heck was that, Harris? Just shooting the ball, stop being fancy. Favors makes it in there, though. Favors is kind of cooking right now. Might have to feed the hot hand here. Dude, if Heath doesn't stop fucking pushing me, dude, golly, this isn't football. Stop pushing. All right, 18 to 17. Dude, I just can't guard. My guy's not good enough to guard freaking Heath Miller, LeBron James, Dwayne Wade, Chris Bosh. Like, I freaking hate Miami so much. All right, how bad is the 2K sim going to be? Pretty freaking bad. Awesome. Glad I only got one point. Awesome. Freaking great. This makes me so happy and want me to play NBA 2K12, guys, honestly. And it's HP at the half. With an excellent game going on at American Airlines Arena. They're getting after it on the offensive boards, making plays with sheer energy. And the Jazz, they're putting up a fight. Their season hasn't started off the way they've wanted, but it's still early. Plenty of time to recover. Some outstanding minutes from their bench unit, delivering instant offense. Great effort on the court by these two in the first half. We'll see if they can carry the load again in the second. We already got a few games gone. Final. Check them out from around the league. They just eke out a single bucket ahead. Kevin Martin led the team in points. And another game also in the books. Out at the United Center, the Bulls with a win over the Clippers. They ended up just taking that game over. They were in complete control. Derrick Rose was their leading scorer. And now here's what's going on in the rest of the association. Over in New York, it was the Knicks losing to the Thunder. Not the performance that will make their coach happy. Amari Stoudemire is their leading scorer. Thanks so much for joining us here in the studio. We hope to see you next time. We'll send you back out to the second half. Dude, at this point, I should have freaking gone to the Rockets, man. Like, holy crap. All right, the 2K Sim again screws us. I love 2K so much, dude. I, well, to be fair, I like them way more than EA Sports. Yeah, Utah drafts me. We're about to go 1-3. Houston doesn't draft me. They're 4-0 right now. Hey, Lee's making it in. Thank you. Holy crap. Why am I getting guarded by my own guy? Why did I just get guarded by my own freaking guy? And we make that one in. Thank you. I'm just trying to run around, and Derek Favors is literally pushing me, dude. Like, come on. I'm not stealing from Dwayne Wade. You might as well just make it in my face and make me feel a little bit better about myself. Let's go. Oh, that was a 3-2. Let's go. And that was on Dwayne Wade. That's right. Give me that crap. Nope. What, what the heck am I supposed to fucking do? That was the most superb defense I've played all season, man. No, they're not going to miss. <laughs> it's Miami, the most cheap, pathetic waste of space. Well, I was close to bringing us within five, but then the game's like, no, 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 this is Miami. You know, the team that, you know, sold out for championships. And golly, dude, this game, like, this game really makes no sense, man. It really does make zero freaking sense. Just to let you guys know, I'm having zero fun right now. Like, I've had, I have not had any fun since we started getting blown out in the second quarter by Houston. Like, this has just been, like, freaking depressing. 
All right, we got that up to 10 points. All right, you know what? I've scored 10 points against Miami. I'm freaking surprised I, that I've even done that. So I'm happy with what I've done. It's just so annoying, guys. Like, I'm trying my best, but I know, like, I this is what I have got to do for the next, like, 20 games because I'm just not going to get enough playing time and I'm not going to be the starter, and I'm not that good right now. So as we get rolling here in the fourth, let's go to our sideline reporter, Doris Burke, for our Sprite Spark. Doris, take it away. And Kevin, for that great stretch the Heat put together, they get the Sprite Spark Award. Things fell for them in a big way in the third quarter, and that's when they took control of this basketball game. All right, I'm being put in small forward, so I got to get guarded by freaking LeBron. Oh, great. I just hate losing, dude, especially to this freaking crap team. I hate Miami so much right now. Like, I'm trying to pass to people, and they're just running away. I'm done, dude. I, I, I'm about. To, I'm so close to freaking quitting. I'm so freaking close to quitting. Fires from the line. Got that at least. Like, golly, man. I'm sorry, guys. I'm just so annoyed right now. I know this is a lot harder because I'm playing on a harder difficulty than 2K11. I know it's gonna be harder, but like, it's just so annoying the animations in this game. It's so like slow. Yeah, I knew I was gonna get absolutely freaking screwed this game. Like, I just knew it. Like playing Miami. 2K loves giving Miami literally every win, every freaking bucket, literally everything they can to make this Miami team the most unstoppable force. And LeBron just makes that one. Literally on one leg while guarded by two people. Like, it's crazy, dude. I literally grabbed that ball. This game sucks, guys. This game freaking sucks. He did a behind the back, and I grabbed the freaking ball, and he just shoots it through me? Are you freaking kidding me? Coach, just freaking save me my freaking sanity and just take me out, man. This isn't even Sacramento, Mike Bibby, and he's tearing me up. Like, yeah, get out of here. Fucking trash can or piss off, NBA. Like, honestly, guys, I'm being serious. This is not fun to me whatsoever. I am not having fun playing this. Five for 16, one for five, freaking 12 points, a block, and two freaking turnovers. Get me out of this freaking game. Tonight's game was another laugher. With the team showing almost no life out there once again, why would we expect anything different going into the next game? I, I don't know how to answer this question. I'm going to be honest with you guys. Like I just said, this isn't fun to me. I'm not having fun freaking playing this. That was pathetic. I know my player's a 62 overall. I can't do anything, but like that was piss poor, dude. Like I was wide open for shots, wasn't giving me freaking anything. The ball was literally going in the freaking basket and just popping right back out. Like Heath Miller was like freaking pushing me and shoving me and bumping into me. No calls whatsoever because I'm a freaking rookie, so they're not going to call anything. And it's because, you know, oh, well, let me guess. It's Miami, so they don't call anything for a freaking usual. We have it in us, man. Just I, I need time to get better at this game because I can't be the 62 overall and expect to be good. I think I relied too much on my shot today. I can't be just chunking up the ball because my guy just doesn't have it. And also, I just got to upgrade my player. So I'm done complaining. We have it in us. I don't care. Let me tell you something. This isn't the team I work hard with every day. Getting ready to go to battle each time we step on the court. We're a much stronger unit than we showed out there tonight. And that's on us to figure out what went wrong. I expect a completely different result next time out there for the simple fact that I know we have it in us. Local fan support goes down. Like, I don't fucking care. Piss off. And it doesn't matter what I say. I can literally say, like, the, the fans are amazing. I love the fans. And the fans will be like, hmm... No, you still suck. You still suck, and we still freaking hate you. All right, so we're one and three now. We had, like, an okay game in Houston, and then just could not do anything against Miami, which is exactly what I figured was going to happen. We got blown out in both games. Honestly, guys, I'm, I'm trying my best here. I There's nothing I can do. I'm trying my absolute best. It's just so hard to be a 62 overall and like expect great things in the beginning. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. Guys, like, comment, and subscribe, and turn on post notifications so you guys don't miss any of the videos I post. Like I said, I still believe in this team. I still think that we can do things. It's just I have to get better as a player. Um, I think, honestly, next time when we play the Magic and the Hawks, I have to think about the team. You know, I tried to shoot a lot. My guy just can't do that. And it's because I'm so used to NBA 2K11 to where I can just shoot the ball, shoot the ball, shoot the ball. I just can't do that. I got to find ways to work in, in to the paint to get Al Jefferson and Paul Millsap their points. 
That way I can get my assists and help the team out. You know, and also 2K Sim was horrible today. We got screwed over twice in two games. Like it just was not our day today. Thank you guys so much for watching the video and I hope you guys have a great day. See you guys later.